It's a Colossus Squid! Holy crap! Uh... Oh, come on, let me go! Dude, we gotta get this thing! I just hatched out these two amazing... Alright, let's spin around and I bet you I can reach them! Yeah! Dude, that is epic! Hey guys, it's King Daddy D-Mac, and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Vol. That's right, we're playing here with Ark Omega, and man, are we having fun. Seriously though, last episode, we took on two insane Omega gods. That's right, we took on the Crystal God, we took on the Starfire God. We upgraded our Wyvern and our Rex into, yes, godlike crystal fire wyvern and godlike starfire rex. These things are so insanely powerful. I swear, look at that. Oh man, he loves it, he loves it. So pretty insane. However, last episode, we lost our entire army, our boss killing army, and uh, kind of set us back. But that's okay, because I spent about six hours this morning with all the babies we hatched out yesterday. And um, yeah, I leveled them up, did everything I needed to do so that we now have the new and improved 2.0 Arby. Oh man, this is going to be so insanely cool. So yes, all the babies that we hatched out yesterday... Um, we've got a row of Starfires. We've got a row of Metal Rexes. And by the way, um, apparently in the boss fight yesterday that we lost everything, I forgot to bring over the Metal Rexes. They were still chilling over on that island over there um, from when we were chasing that stupid Rock Drake. But um, yeah, so I had the three new ones that we hatched out plus the three old ones. So I think this should be pretty sweet. And then all of our new Colossus, we have our 2.0. Let's see. Dude, can I see the names, please? We have Hulk Rex 2.0 and Captain Crunch 2.0. So I think it should be pretty cool. I think we should be all set to go. Bada boom. And uh, I think I'm going to actually ride on one of the Colossal Rexes today instead of the Wyvern. The only reason being is uh, it puts me kind of like out of reach in case something can hit through the mount or something like that. So anyway, let's get everything all set and ready to go. And Alpha Singularity boss. Yes, this should be epic. I hope. I don't know. We might lose everything again. No, uh, no time to find out. We're just going to have to do it. All right, let, dude, no, 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 no. Oh, that could have been so bad. So incredibly bad. Here we go. Rex army. Where's this guy at? Oh, holy crap. No, 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 no. Oh, I forgot to tell everyone to follow me and attack target. Attack target. No. All right. Singularity isn't all that bad. It's not horribly bad, but look at us. Dude, this is ridiculous. We're like a Rex NATO. All right, all right, come on. Oh, did you see that? Huh? Already? It was that easy? No. No. What the crap? Dude, we are so powerful. How did that happen? How on earth did that happen so quickly? We didn't even get to see what type of creature it was. That's insane! But look at... <gasps> we have... The Singularity God Soul! I cannot stinking believe that. In all honesty, that is absurd. Alright, where's Captain Crunch? Captain Crunch, they're all trying to follow you. Because you are just the ultimate leader. I can't believe that! The Starfire one was so hard yesterday. I, I feel like there was something messed up. I don't know. Oh, I wish we could have seen it, but hey, I'm not complaining. So that means we now have the ability to make a singularity god. Yes. All right, let's go and let's find out who should we do it. We got a couple of singularities. Who do we want to make into a god? All right, I went through all my dinos and top picks um, would likely be our Omega Thyla or our Omega Rock Drake. Now looking at them. Our Thyla's pretty good, but remember, we had such good stats on our Rock Drakes. Like, 
absolutely absurd stats. We have 105 in health, 105 in the melee, and then 116, like almost every stats above 100. That is incredibly good. And you know what? Cosmic Crawler, you are going to be able to be the god. So I like to usually level them up, though, before we make them into a god. I don't know that it makes a difference, um, but I think we should do it. I think we should do it. So um, let's make our way. Dude, you are so awesome. Let's make our way over to the island over here. I think we should be able to level it up pretty quickly. I actually, from leveling up all the Rexes, have a pretty good routine now. Dude, look at how epic it is. And this is before he's a god. All right, all right, come here, bro. I mean, look at the amount of damage. It's no Rex. In all honesty, if I had a Singularity Rex, I would probably do that. But we got a Starfire already. So let's let's make a Rock Drake. All right, come on, bro. All right, ooh, and before I forget, let's go ahead and put in some level up shenanigans. And did I ever put a, uh, I never put one of these things in. Let's go ahead and do that too. Bada boom and bada boom. Awesome. All right, and let's start to put the levels in. Beautiful. And I'll show you some of the best places for leveling. We, I actually showed it at the end of last episode. What's probably the best way, if you're trying to level up quick on this map, at least one of the best ways. All right, let's do our singularity. Actually, let's wait to do our singularity. Let's go over, and I set up a teleporter for here. It's still even doing this. You gotta do it sometimes two or three times. But this brings us over to the Megapithecus fight, yup. Now, the Megapithecus, it gives pretty good XP, but it's actually this Reaper right here. If you can get a modded Reaper, oh my goodness, and a good level one, it gives a lot. All right, let's go ahead, throw in some more levels. We can just chill while it hits us. We are just that good. All right. Awesome. And ready for it? Singularity! Get wrecked, Reaper! Come on. Oh, I was actually hoping it would do more. I think when they get sucked up to the middle of the Singularity, it doesn't do as much damage. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, come on. Come on, I can do another Singularity on you. Now, I really think having multiple Singularities, if they probably fight over each other, I just don't know. So there's that spot, then you just run through here and there's the Brood Mother. Now, unfortunately, the Brood Mother doesn't give nearly as much XP, but you get Element from that one. And actually, sometimes there's two or more Brood Mothers in here. Which is not bad. All right, let's go ahead and do a singularity. Come on. Awesome. And boom. All right, so then after you go through here a little bit, you can usually just go right back into the Mega P and half the time it respawns. Sometimes it don't, but you know, that's okay. Or just teleport in and out of the cave. See, look at it. Bada boom! It is so good. All right, singularity. Everybody get wrecked. And there's an Alpha Carno. I remember it was up here. I couldn't reach up here with my racks. All right, beautiful. And let's see how we're doing. Insane amounts of XP. So we're, I think we get 300 levels or 299 on this server. So that should probably do it. Let me get it maxed out and I'll meet you outside. All right, and after putting in all the levels, max attack in one, two, three, four, and a five. Beautiful. So completely maxed out. I think that's 19 million in the health. Not bad, insane melee. Um, let's actually, I just want to see what it hits for before. Oh, so we get a clean million hit, which is pretty impressive. And then singularity. Oh my lordy. That is so much. All right, so that's this guy prior to putting in the God thing. Let's go ahead and put it in now. So, Singularity God Soul. Boom. Look at that. 
That is 30, so just shy of 40 million in the health. Wow, absurd amounts of stamina. And now we hit four, it doubled it. It straight up doubled it. That is so nuts. We are so fast now. All right, and look at that. Wow, 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 I cannot believe it. I cannot believe we are this strong now on a dang rock drake. Come on. So this guy absolutely could be a boss killer. And the advantage of this guy is you can get away super easy if you start to get into trouble. And then also, I should be able to. We still have to worry about sirens or psychosis dinos that can dismount us. But we should be able to attack underwater. Right? Yup. We can attack underwater and then we also can do our special ability underwater. Ready? Get wrecked! I absolutely adore it. Such a good creature to have as a god. Now it would be nice if we could attack a little bit faster. You know, that's the disadvantage of the rock drake. But, I mean, it's a rock drake. That is so nuts. Just look at how fast it is. <laughs> look at it. I just did one jump. And then I can pretty much soar forever. That is so monstrous. I mean, look at how quickly we can get around the entire map. When you have speeds like this, I mean, nuts. It's practically like I'm flying. You are an absolute god, bro. Absolute god. I love it. All right, let's come in. Ooh. Let's find a big, like, cluster of guys. Let's do our singularity on them. All right, come on. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do it over here. All right, move, move. What? Dude, it hit that one guy for four million. This is, I am really happy with this. I was hoping I wasn't going to re regret using up our God essence on this guy or our God thing, God soul. But I am so happy we did. I think this is my favorite creature of the season now. It, it seriously is like I'm flying. Just soar down a little bit. And then it can get so much height. All right. Oh, not enough stamina. Ah, I couldn't do my singularity. All right. Well, this is pretty awesome. Yeah, not bad. Anyway, I guess we got our bosses done for the day. Um, I'm pretty pleased. I'm not going to push my luck. I want to end it on a high note. Let's go check out what's spawning around the server. There's still so much that we got to get tamed. All right, guys. I think today, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like an underwater day. Um, I got a bunch of mythical and ethereal kibbles. And I want to see if maybe we could find... I don't know, a, a cool dimensional or colossus underwater creature. Um, let's go ahead and grab, let's see, Nightbite. Yes! Come on, Nightbite. Let's go do it. Now, Nightbite can't get his own food. Unfortunately, because he's a taming creature. Oh, man. But we should be able to knock out just about anything that we can find underneath the water. I think it should be pretty awesome. So, let me go on the hunt. I don't know what's going to be under the water today. All right, guys, we're out in the deep ocean. Holy crud, those things always scare me. I know they're not that big of a deal. Anyway, um, I'm hoping we can maybe find a squid or a mosa. So, I don't know. Let's see what we run into. There's bound to be one around here if we swim around a bit. All right, come on. Somebody. Oh, my goodness. It's coming for us. Leave me alone, bro. Oh, perfect. No way. Dude, that's epic. Look at it. It's a Colossus squid. Holy crap. Uh, oh, come on. Let me go. Dude, we got to get this thing. That is so nuts. It's a Colossus version of the squid. Oh, he's trying to pull me into his little hole. You go away, bro. You go away. Dude, this guy holds on forever. Let me go. All right. 
Come on. All right, dude. We can do this. We can definitely do this. Oh, I am so pleased. And it actually seems like a safe enough area. Yes, it's out. All right, let's hop off. Let's make sure we're on passive. All right. Oh my goodness, our very first Colossus Squid. All right, and... Come on, baby. Yes, we did it. Oh my lordy. I don't have a saddle, though. Holy crap. Don't have a saddle, so let's go ahead, scoop him up. Awesome! Let's see if there's anything else, but what a find. And you know what? We can probably breed it with the squid that we already have. What a day! All right, guys. I've swam nearly across the entire map without much luck. Um, we're coming in actually pretty close to my uh, little island area where I like to do the boss fights. It's been uh, it's been a pretty long day. Um, let's see. Oh, we got another two. So we also got some plessies. Beta control. Oh crap! That could be bad. That could be bad. Oh no! No, no, no. Oh, dude, look it. It's a, uh, it's another Colossus Tuso. Are you kidding me? Two of them in the same day? That's amazing. All right. Um, it looks like that guy is knocked out. Not much I can do about it. All right, let me go. Let me go, bro. Seriously, let me go. Holy crap, these guys hold on forever. All right, and boom. Come on, let's get him knocked out. I got the kibble for it, so we might as well tame him. And it is a beta this time. Not as good a level, but we should be able to breed. All right, beautiful. All right, um, let's just get this guy out. Is there anything else? I don't see anything. All right, um, there was two Plessies, but I guess we got them both. All right, yep, yeah, let's get this guy. All right, so this one, beta kibble. And normal alpha beta. Perfect. Nice. Dude, we're going to have this uh, the squid squad. That's kind of hard to say. All right. Love it. Still got to get the saddles for it. But um, I'm almost done going across. So let's just finish it up. You know, we haven't got a Plessy yet this season. That could be kind of cool too. So I'll keep my eyes open. Holy crap, guys, look at this. Oh, it's a dimensional Plessy. That means it's going to be one of the types that can fly. Let's go ahead and get this other one out of the way. Get out of my way, bro. All right, what's your health? All right, all right, this is going to be perfect. All right, we got to clear out the area, though. All right, Megalodon, get out of here. Uh, anything else? Not really. I probably need to have to get that guy. All right. Let's start to get them. Dude, this is so cool. No, 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 no. There's stuff angry at us. All right, go away. Oh, crap. That's a siren. All right, out of my way. All right, let's get this turd. And you're knocked out. Oh, crap. There's more Plessies. Ooh, that's an Alpha Phoenix. Pl oh, man. This is more than I bargained for. I just want the dimensional one, please. Oh, crap. They keep spawning in. All right. That's the... Dude, this is not cool. All right. We got to get this one guy knocked out before the other one. All right. Come on. We don't want to kill it because it might set fire. All right. So far, so good. So far, so good. Oh, no, we got that guy knocked out. All right, all right. Yo. All right, perfect. I don't have kibble for that guy. Um, we're just going to have to go for it. Come on, come on. And one, ethereal beta. Nice. I can't believe it. And you know what? I actually made a saddle already, uh, assuming that I was going to find a Plessy, because that's what I was looking for. Let's pack you up. Come here, bro. It is not the highest level, but that's okay. We'll work with it. All right, food and let's go. Yes, this is so cool. All right, get all the way to the top. And yes, look at this guy. 
This is so insane. It's a flying plessy. Have you ever seen anything like it in your life? I certainly have not. That is so incredibly cool. Oh, I love plessies. All right, pretty soon the uh, dimensional thing will go back. All right, sweet. I am totally digging it. I think, is this our little island? No, that's another little island. I don't know if I, oh, I think that's the Dinon Island. Yeah, we're way far away now. All right, anyway, let's get back to the base. Let's check out all of our awesome new creatures. Man, I absolutely love, 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 love these squid. They're so cool. So yes, this is our, I think it's ultimate one that we had tamed a few episodes back. Yeah, well, um, this guy was pretty insane big. You know, it was one of the biggest creatures that we had. Well, let me just say, it compares nothing to these monstrosities. Look at the Colossus. They dwarf this guy. Absolutely dwarf him. All right, let's dismount and just have a look-see from the shore. I mean, it is no contest. Look at how stinking big these guys are. I mean, what? I can't even fit them, like, completely on a single screen. Look at the size of those guys. That's in... I, I just, I can't even conceive of it. All right, but you know what's better than having two? Let's try and breed for more. We have our Kraken. Oh, and, oh wait, 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 wait. Are you an Omega? Hold on. Was this an Omega? Oh! <gasps> I forgot that it was an Omega. Oh, we're going to be able to get an Omega call. All right. I haven't done any underwater breeding. I am quite curious. Let's see if this can be a thing. Um, enable mating. All right. And behavior. Enable mating. All right. And behavior. Enable mating. All right, now the question is, where the crap are those eggs going to come from? I have no idea. I do not know what to expect. Um, but they do seem to be breeding. So that's cool. Oh, man, this is so insane. So we actually have been getting eggs between the three different ones. Um, look at how many eggs I got. That is so epic. All right, so um, I would assume we got to hatch these out under the water. I, I really don't know. Um, hopefully we don't have to do it like too deep. Maybe I could do it like right here. Let's see. Let's do one at first and see what happens. All right, what does that say? Too cold. Crap. Boom. All right, there's eight of them. So let's throw down the egg. Oh, it's incubating. It's incubating. All right. And. Whoa, look at that. How cool is that? It's a baby Colossus too. So. Oh, and it's a beta and it's a good level too. That's awesome. All right. Uh, let's do a couple more or let's do them all. All right. Look at here, guys. Ready for it? Yes! Dude, that is crazy epic. I've never seen anything like it. Holy crap, do we get anything good? We got up to alpha. Beta, 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 beta. That's actually a pretty good jump to get an alpha right away. Oh, we got a prime. We got a couple of primes. Dude, this is so epic. All right, I'm going to get them uh, all grown up and do another round of breeding. Holy crap. I finally did it, guys. I finally did it. I just hatched out these two amazing Omega Colossus Tuso. How epic is that? Oh, I love it so much. So I just got to wait for these two to uh, finish growing up. I'm probably going to hatch out another round of eggs or at least lay another round of eggs just so I have backups. And then let's go out on a ride on our first Omega Colossus Tuso. 
My goodness, this is so utterly insane. I can't believe it. Look at the size of them. That is so cool. So these were my favorite two colored ones after doing all the breeding. And let's see, flip around, boom. Dude, it is so epic. So this one I, I liked, it's got a yellow nose with uh, green tentacles and most of the rest of its body. Definitely looks like a Colossus. Oh my Lord. It's almost like derpy. It's so insane. Like, I just don't know what to make of it. All right, let's see what it hits for. Come on. It's so, oh, look at that. 260,000. That is monstrous. Absolutely monstrous. All right, let's go down into the ocean. Holy crud. All right, we got some eels. Come here, eels. I mean, you're able to reach from so far away. Like, literally nothing can touch you. Nothing can get close enough. My God. I really think this could possibly be like a boss killer. You know, because I mean, I can practically like, let's let's take a look here. I can if I can even get close enough to shore. Let's see. Come on. All right. So coming in on the shore, it's actually able to get pretty dang close. That's impressive. And then I can spin around. And I mean, look at this. I can attack like so far up. That is nuts. I really think we have to try one of these bosses under the water. I don't know. I'm curious to see if it will allow it. All right. But then we got scenarios like this. Let's spin around. Everything. I mean, look at this. This is going to be like the ultimate collector of, of resources under the ocean. It is so ungodly big. It's a mega squid. It's beyond an alpha, or I guess, you know, it's an omega. All right, and come on. I can just slowly spin myself around and it just gets everything. I can't even really see what I'm doing, but you know, look at that. Dude, I cannot wait till we get a dimensional one of these. That is gonna be the coolest once it can actually get out of the water. That is monstrous. All right, and if guys get too close, I guess I can always do my uh, Colossus bang. Let's see what that hits for. Does that even work? Uh-oh. I don't even think it works. I think it's just too big. I don't know, I can't hear it. My goodness. It is too much fun. Wow. All right, let's go back up to the surface. Good Lord. I'm curious to see if this is gonna be our strongest creature yet. Um, let's dump all the fish, cause yeah, we get way too much fish. All right, and I mean, look at how quickly we're getting levels. I mean, it's insane. Uh-oh, go, no! You done froze me. Crap, I wasn't paying attention. Uh-oh, uh-oh, come on, come on. Oh, man, I'm kind of stuck right now. I'm kind of frozen. Come on, go away, guys. Go away. Leave me alone, dumb eels. All right. Uh, let me start to get levels into it. All right, guys. Max attack. It went so quick. There we go. 255. You know what? I'm almost more curious because, like, under the water, I just dominate with this thing. I mean, nothing can touch us. Look, Mosa. Alpha Mosa. Come here, bro. Let's get him. Boom, done. It like reaches so far. And if I just like inch forward, I can actually stay in the attacking mode. Let's see. Oh, normal too. So come here, bro. Come get some. It annihilates. It is so much fun. So, you know, that's no challenge. Let's see if we can take on something from like, you know, the land. That would be crazy cool. All right, come on, get out of here, guys. So far, I've not been dismounted from anything, so that's a positive. 
And you know what? With the Colossus, uh, I'd probably just stay mounted, like, or, you know, standing above it, which is pretty nuts. But anyway, um, usually there's a lot of shenanigans over here in the winter biome. Let's see if we can, like, reach up on the shore and just, like, wipe it clean. Oh, come on. Let me get closer. Need to get closer. All right. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm getting beached. Don't beach me, bro. All right, here we go. Yeah, right in here. I can't actually... S oh, starting to see stuff. All right, sweet. All right, let's spin around and I bet you I can reach them. Yeah, dude, that is epic. That is so epic. Come on, guys, come get some. It is nuts. That is utterly nuts. Now, it's really unfortunate that I'm not able to use, like, my Colossus ability on this guy, but, you know, is what it is. My God. I mean, just look at how how far on shore I can reach. That's like halfway to the cliff. It's insane. So imagine I get like a whole line of these guys all up against the shore, and then I summon in a boss. I wonder, I wonder how much that would do. And damage wise, I mean, this isn't like any phenomenal specimen either. You know, like I haven't been breeding this guy for a while. This was just like our first uh, hatch of Omegas. And it's already hidden in the uh, 1.3, 1.4 million range. Give it a mate boost. I'd say this is probably just as strong as the Colossus Rexes and stuff like that. And... This guy is able to hit so much more rapidly. Because remember with the squid, each tentacle is hitting for that million. That is crazy strong. It's unfortunate there's not more like bigger stuff under the ocean. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I am definitely impressed. Come on. Now what I also have noticed though is I have not been getting from under the water much in fact i didn't get anything from the shore for the uh souls and everything like very few i'm wondering if it's the guys are too far away to actually pick up the loot that could be and if that's the case that's gonna suck but you know it's still fun this guy is a monster absolute squid kraken monster i love it it is one of the coolest creatures yet all right. Well, on that note, guys, I think we did so good today. Like, so utterly good. I'm so impressed with us. We got a god. We took on the singularity dude in record time. We got a flying, a flying Plessy, which we didn't even get to really do. But, you know, try out. But it, it's, it's a little guy. It's a little guy. He can't do much. All right, come on. And spin. Oh, oh, come on. You can do it. See, this is where having that. If I could press the X move, it just sucks. Oh, getting some stuff there. All right, cool. Anyway, let's get back to the base. I think it's that time. Let me go through those comments. All right, guys. What a day. What a day. I do have to say, seriously, I had so much fun. But anyway, it is now that time. That's right. Time to name the dinos! For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance at getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button and you got to comment down below it is just that easy anyway for today my goodness so many guys to name um we're gonna be naming three of the new colossus racks um of course i had to redo the him and the her the hulk and captain crunch so very cool and they're 2.0 so love it we have our new champion, which is Godzilla Rex. I totally love it. We have, oh man, uh, 
Swarovski. I think I said that right. It's it's the expensive crystal company. I thought that was pretty cool. And by the way, for all the God likes, they are now called gods instead of OMG. So love it. Um, oh, and thanks for letting me know, guys. This guy, this to to Doroki is apparently the same person as Shoto. Yes, from yesterday's names. I was a little confused about that. We have Helios, which is the god of the sun, I guess, for our Starfire. So totally love it. For next episode, we got to come up with names for our godlike singularity, Rock Drake, for our beta dimensional Plessy. Totally love it. And last but certainly not least, we are going to do it for these two, Omega Colossus Tuso. That is so... I love these guys. It is so incredible. I can't believe how good they are and how big they are. It's insane. Absolutely insane, but I love it. So happy we finally got that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc awesomeness. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again and peace out.